For the purpose of this video we've chosen some 6 foot feather wrench panels and 8 foot dip treated posts and we're going to use cement to secure the fence. First things first, measure out the length of your garden to work out how many panels and posts you're going to need. Panels are typically 6 foot wide and come in a variety of styles. Here we are replacing an existing fence and post, however the following steps will still apply if you are replacing a broken fence or starting from scratch. For posts, you are going to want them to be at least 2 foot longer than the height of your panels. This gives the fence a solid foundation. Lastly, you need to decide on your method of securing the posts using either concrete, post shoes or spikes. Start by clearing as much of the area around your proposed fence as possible. This will make it far easier to work around and stop any plants getting in the way. Before installing your post, it's best to treat the end with a good quality spray based timber preservative. This will extend the life of the post in the ground and also prevent it from rotting. Measure out and mark two foot along your post. This mark is going to need to be at ground level to give you the best possible anchorage for your fence. When digging for your fence posts, you're going to want it to be at least two foot down and approximately three times the width of your post. Mark out six foot lengths across your proposed fence with string. This gives you an idea of spacing and will keep it in a straight line following the land. Place three to four inches of gravel in the bottom of the post hole. This acts as a ballast for the post as well as allowing water to drain away again further extending the life of your posts. Support your posts using wooden stakes and attach them to help keep your post level whilst you prepare the cement. Using a spirit level as a guide, adjust the post as necessary to make sure it's level across both sides. For this install, we're using a ready to use post creep. This goes in dry and sets within a few minutes. Fill your hole with the postcrete as per the instructions on the bag and just add water. Remember to wear goggles to keep the dust from getting in your eyes. Mix the cement within the hole. It sets pretty quickly so work fast. Once the cement has been mixed thoroughly, use a trowel to create a slight slope away from the post. This acts as a runoff for any rainwater and also helps to prevent rot. Once the cement is set, fill in the hole and remove the supports. Repeat this for every post you need to install. If you're installing on a slope, it can be a little trickier to get your panels level. For this installation we're going to create a step fence rather than following the slope of the land. This creates a more natural and even look. Begin by placing your gravel board against the ground of the taller post and level it out. This allows you to mark on the other post where you're going to need to place your clips. This will create a gap beneath the board on one side which can be filled by cutting down another gravel board. These feather edge panels are framed on the top and bottom, requiring us to measure up the framing and mark the post where our clips need to go. You can then slide the panels down between the clips and secure them in place using galvanised screws. Galvanized screws are resistant to rust and will last longer. Check your panel is level one last time. Lastly, finish the post with a post cap. Remember to pre-drill the hole for these to prevent the splitting of the wood. Once your posts are in, installing the panels is a relatively easy process. You'll find you can get a run up quite quickly. Occasionally you will find that you need a smaller panel than you have available. You can easily cut down a panel and grab a board to fit however. Measure out the gap and width of your panel. Because these panels are framed horizontally, we do not need to move the frame in. However, if you have vertically framed panels, you can prise the framing away from the board and reattach it to the cut down panel with nails. Cut down the panel using a jigsaw very carefully with a handsaw, again taking care to wear protective goggles to shield away from any sawdust or debris. You can now install the panel in the same way. 